Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to be covering how to calculate the change in velocity and pressure of a fluid flowing through a pipe when it experiences an increase in height. By the end of this video, you will be able to calculate the change in pressure between two points in the pipe and use this knowledge to solve similar problems. Let's begin by looking at the given problem. The problem states that water flows through a pipe with a constant radius of 0.05 meters. At point A, the velocity of the fluid is 6 meters per second and the pressure of the fluid is 400 kilopascals. The height of the pipe then increases by 7 meters to point B. The question requires us to calculate the following. A. What is the velocity of the fluid at point B? And B. What is the pressure of the fluid at point B? We will begin by writing down the information given to us in the problem to help us solve it. It tells us the radius of the pipe equals 0.05 meters. P1, the pressure at point A, equals 400,000 pascals. The density of water rho equals 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed. The acceleration due to gravity g equals 9.8 meters per second squared. H1, the height at point A, equals zero. H2, the height at point B, equals seven meters. V1, the velocity at point A, equals six meters per second. And we're going to find V2 and P2 the velocity and pressure of the fluid at point B. Subquestion A requires us to calculate the velocity of the fluid at point B. We can do this by using the continuity equation A1 V1 equals A2 V2. The continuity equation shows us that the area and velocity are proportional to each other and if there is an increase in one there must be a decrease in the other and vice versa. As the radius of the pipe does not change and because the area equals pi r squared, the area of the pipe also doesn't change. Because the area is constant, the velocity must also be constant for the continuity equation to be true. So the velocity of the fluid at point B remains as six meters per second. Subquestion B requires us to calculate the pressure of the fluid at point B. To do this, we must use Bernoulli's equation, shown on screen as P1 plus rho g h1 plus half rho v1 squared equals P2 plus rho g h2 plus half rho v2 squared. We must note that as the height of the pipe is increasing and an increase in height causes a drop in pressure, we must expect a lower pressure for P2 than we have for P1. As the velocity is constant, this term in the equation does not change and can be cancelled out. The equation then becomes P1 plus rho g h1 equals P2 plus rho g h2. Rearranging this equation for P2 gives us P2 equals P1 plus rho g h1 minus rho g h2. Or we can simplify this to factor out the rho and the g to become P2 equals P1 plus rho g times h1 minus h2. Once this is done, we can go ahead and plug our numbers in to find P2. So we know that P1 is 400,000, rho is 1,000, g is 9.8 h1 is 0 and h2 is 7. Multiplying out our brackets gives us 400,000 plus 1,000 times 9.8 times 0 minus 1,000 times 9.8 times 7. As the contents of the first bracket are multiplied by 0, the value for the whole bracket is 0 and can be cancelled out. So this equation becomes p2 equals 400,000 minus 68,600 which equals 331,400 pascals. As there has been an increase in height of the pipe and our value for P2 is lower than our value for P1, we know that our answer is consistent with the expected answer. In conclusion, our value for velocity at point B was found to be six meters per second and our value for pressure at point B was found to be 331,400 pascals or 331.4 kilopascals. So there we have it. We've successfully solved the problem using the continuity equation and Bernoulli's equation. Thank you for watching. Please check our channel for similar engineering education content.